Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Football Manager 2023. It's our Liverpool campaign. We're what, three or four games into the league season now, I think. We're doing pretty well. I think we won all four of our last matches, uh, including in the Champions League, which was quite nice. What have we got? We've got Bournemouth coming up in a few days, so we'll look forward to that. Uh, just wanted to quickly pop into this screen. We'll have a look at the, the league there. You see, so we're three points back off City, who are still unbeaten, but that's that's all right. Not too bad to be second. I just wanted to have a look at the <coughs> United score, because I wanted to have a look at um, uh, Garnacho, who in real life is doing quite well at the moment as I'm, as I'm filming this. I was just interested to see what he looked like in this game. Um, I think he's in the under-21 squad. Pellistri is someone who's fairly highly rated as well. Not sure I see it. Uh... Hannibal. I've bought him in previous editions of the game. He's actually been pretty good. I should scout him. Garnacho, there he is. He's actually on loan at the moment. Very quick. Uh, I might scout him. Maybe he's got high potential. Not that we'll probably be signing any United players as Liverpool, but you never know. So coming, we've got Bournemouth, and then after that it's Shakhtar in the Champions League. There we go, an analysis of our Celtic game. Did pretty well. Vinicius, he's quite good, I think. He's very, very good, actually. No Liverpool players in the uh, top young player odds in the Champions League odds. Any eye-catching scores? <laughs> Man City 9, Borussia Dortmund 1. Erling Haaland, who's just signed from Dortmund to, to City, as everyone knows, scored six goals. <laughs> so, yeah, it's an interesting one. Not that I think Dortmund had much of a choice about not selling him. I think he had a, a minimum fee clause in his contract. Bournemouth currently 17th in the league, so you'd hope with a home match that we could do pretty well against them. I think we'll go in with a fairly positive mindset as, again. Grinio was one of the centre backs we looked at. He's just signed a new deal. I've been scouting for Fana. Uh, excellent signing. No interest in signing for us. I mean, he's just signed for, for Chelsea. I'll pop him on the shortlist, though, because I, I do like Fafana. Decent win for the under 21s. Uh, Marcus Leonardo scoring again there. He's not quite first team quality for us yet, but he, apparently he is one of the highly rated youngsters in this year's edition. Uh, which I didn't know when I signed him. I it just he, I scouted for a young up and coming striker, and his name was on the list. Uh, we paid quite a bit to get him as well, I think. Trent's injured. How long for? Two to three weeks. Uh, yeah, we'll leave to physio, I guess. A bit of a shame, but. Um, we have a couple of promising right backs. We've got Ramsey and, uh, and someone else. Actually, I don't know if Ramsey's actually fit to play it. So Alisson, very good training from him. So we're gonna we're gonna say really well, really well done in training. Almost almost a perfect week. We've got Chelsea away, so a bit of a bit more of a difficult fixture list for us than the uh, last episode. Come on. Doke impressing for the under 18s. Right, Bournemouth. 
What can we do? Uh, Alison, obviously. Um, so it's Scally, who's been on international duty, but I think he's back now, and he actually is in decent condition, so maybe I'm going to go with Scally there. A right back. Right side of centre back. Oh, they're all they're all heavy use at the moment. Scalvini's a bit of a star in the making, but uh, for this one maybe I'll go with Gomez and Van Dyke. I'll go Robertson. Uh who's kind of our backup defensive midfielder? It's probably everyone's heavy. I am trying to rotate, but I guess some of them are playing the under twenty ones as well. And then I guess I'll go Henderson. Everyone's heavy use. There's no one there who's light or medium. So who should we go with? I might go with Elliot for Bournemouth and maybe Tiago. And we'll put him in more of a uh, advanced playmaker support role like that. I guess it's Salah, unless I've got anyone who can rotate in. And then there's Jota, who actually is fully fit, I think. And then we could play Carvalho on the left to save Diaz's legs. And up front, I mean, I'd play Marcus Leonardo, but he's just played. So I guess it's Nunes. Adrian. Uh, Bastoni, Fabinho, Scalvini, Simicas. We've got four others, so. Um, Zabozlai, Kavinga, Diaz, Salah. Quite a strong bench. The bench is basically stronger than our team, but it's Bournemouth at home, so I'm not anticipating a huge amount of difficulty with them. Uh, we're not even going to bother doing the opposition instructions. Let's just play our game. Favourite so play like it. So we can get a full house. Not quite. Lots of motivation there, apart from Nunez. Oh, he's on a yellow already. Could that be a red? Yep. We're down to 10. I'm actually going to stick us up to uh, attacking now from positive. Oh, let's encourage a bit. Oh, what happened? Not many on target. I mean, not getting okay, many highlights at all. Oh, it's encouraged again. Oh, goal in the first half would be nice. It's Van Dijk's over. Robertson's had a bit of a knock a little bit. That's a good ball to run on to. Nothing got a foot to it, but it's uh, gone away. Oh, that's a decent strike from Thiago, but it looks like we're going to win the half goal this year, which with Bournemouth at home down to 10 men is a bit of a, a, bit of a disappointment, honestly. About two and a half minutes now to try and conjure something in this half.
Oh, that was a nice strike. I thought he was going to blast over the bar, but that was actually quite, uh, quite delicately done. Cool. Uh, the game called it a screamer. I wouldn't cast that a screamer. It was, you know, just right amount of curl on it to, to bring it in past the keeper. That was actually very good. Haven't seen too many of those from Henderson recently. Very nice. Pretty much the stroke of half time, more or less. Good. Okay. Well, I think that uh, I mean, the XG tells a story there, doesn't it? Not a lot of chances. Only scored the one, but um, created loads. Let's give him a bit of a pep talk for the second half. Scally, get on that. Oh, nice little chip. Joss is there and he scores. His first goal of the season, just back from injury. That's very good. And we'll drop back down to, to positive. We don't need to press it quite so much. They're unlikely to score the 10 men. I suppose they're set pieces. Penalties perhaps, but I think we should be okay from here. Cavalli with both those assists, incidentally. I'll praise the team. There's Morella a little bit. Gomez there. It's out by Billing. Oh, it's got a nice cross in. No, he's cut it back. Oh, long shot from Henderson. Obviously, <laughs> obviously he put his confidence up after the first one. That's more the sort of shot I'd expect to see from Henderson in real life. Just long distance over the bar. We're going to make some subs now, I think. So Robertson needs to come off. He's getting a bit tired. I think he took an early knock and then didn't really recover from it. We'll probably take off Jota as well because... Um, actually, we right, could be with uh, Sir Bosley. With Elliot Wright. Um, we don't, he's, he's just back from injury. We don't want to risk it, really. Um, Nunez might be a good one to come off. Maybe I can sell it from... Two more. Elliot Carvalho I might keep on. So maybe we'll have Scalvini for Gomez. And Fabinho for Henderson, he's on a yellow card. And a free kick. I hope Alisson can keep this out. Wasn't far off. Uh, let's praise again. Salah's there. He may well have been offside, but I don't think it's going to matter. Trent, is he? Scanner. Well, he's alright. How's Scalvini already booked? It's only gone about five minutes. There's a nice knife for Vino again. Probably hit it. Go over. Oh, it's on target, and it's actually a goal. Keeper couldn't hold it. Not bad. To be honest, I didn't see a goal coming out of that situation. Fabinho, not the greatest goal scoring from open play, but the keeper made a bit of a hash of it, honestly. I would have preferred to stay on the bench. as well. 
do another shout when I can. I mean, at 3 0, 10 minutes to go, they're down to 10 men. It seems pretty much like it's going to be okay, though, but I like to keep the morale up if I can. Oh, it could be the sun out, cut out. Tyler's back below, Tyler's got the ball. Cutting's through. Oh, he tried a clever little finish, but uh, keeper managed to stop that one. Didn't have to go out for throw. <laughs> Just saying. Let's try and gym up a little bit with some praise. Am I going to go here? No. That's a bad shot. And a strong foot as well. It's better, better from Sally. Fulham with a big win at Villa. There we go. Nothing too challenging there. That was all fine, really. Man of the match, Henderson. Not surprising with his goal. Very good. Good win for us. Well done, everyone. City beat Chelsea. Haaland again there. Hmm. Honestly, the three-point gap to City at the top just feels quite big, even at this stage of the season. Don't see them dropping a lot of points. Clear things up. Nunez, five goals and eight. Salah, five goals and seven. It's not too bad. Three for Zabozle. Yeah, scoring some goals. Let's carry on. We've got a few days now till Shakhtar away. I think they're probably the strongest team in our Champions League group. So it's we've pretty much gone from the easiest fixture at home to Celtic to the most difficult away to Shakhtar, but we'll see how we can do. Um, what I'll actually do, I'll go to the Premier League and just see how many goals... Actually, we can just click on him, can't we? How many goals has Erling Haaland actually scored so far? So he's played... He's done eight starts for City. He's on 14 goals, one subs appearance. So he's on basically two... All, close to two goals a game at this point. Just absolutely monstrous. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hard to compete with that, really. Actually, when is the other 21s match? Is there anyone I'm going to want to kind of keep want to keep fresh? I might um, rule out Carvalho, who's just played Scally because uh, Trent's injured. Arthur, I don't think can play in the Champions League, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I don't know if Marcus Leonardo would get on. So I think we'll leave it at that. Scouting report. Mudrick, I think, is actually pretty good in real life. Uh, not seeing it there, but we'll scout him. She one person I would like. I may have taken a look at him in a previous episode, but I can't remember. Um, it's the guy who's at Napoli, but Napoli's not called Napoli in this game, are they? Um, Kavarat, is that his name? Kavarat. Ah, here we go. Gavatarish Celia, whatever his name is. Who is... <laughs> 66 to 97. I mean, he is just looking like 
one of the best players in the world in the making at the moment. Um, I mean, he's looking pretty good from here. Let's scout him. Uh, he's only on 25k. It's high price tag, but... Yeah. It's pretty good. Sounds like all the world's big clubs are going to be taking a close look at him in the next couple of transfer windows. Uh, I think that's surprising here, I suppose. Isaac, player of the week. He's quite a good striker. He's, uh, he's on a goal a game for Newcastle at the moment. Let's scout him as well. Something a bit background music or something would be good for football manager. I'd play some music myself, but I'd get hit with uh, copyright strikes. Kumas, he's all right in real life. Well, he, you know, he looks quite promising, and the club speaks very highly of him. He's got a bit of a way to go though here, I think. He's got, he's got good potential actually. I have to keep an eye on him. They say that describes Shakhtar as a poor team, but I think that's misleading because they, they're a good team. Perhaps not as good as they were when they had a millionaire owner, or sorry, a billionaire owner, who was, um, you know, just spending money like it was going out of fashion. Um, that was a few years ago now. So they're not quite, the, not quite as good as they were then, but I think they're still a strong, fairly strong team. I should bring Ramsey into the first team while Trent's injured. He could get a game for us. Actually topping the under-21s league, which is quite nice to see. I mean, we've got a lot of good players in there. Just no idea what I'm going to do with Arthur. I think we're just going to send him back. Don't really see the point. But that's because we've signed players like Kamavinga and Zabozla, you know, so... Taras Stepanenko. He's very slow, not very agile. We're quite a quick team. That might be taken. Might be can take advantage of that. Kane Cone Doherty catching the eye. Oh, there's a draw with Celtic, okay. Mind you, the other teams drew as well. Okay, let's have a quick look what's going on. PSG winning quite comfortably. Man City win again. So the only surprise there is that uh, Hurling Haaland didn't score their goal. Okay, Hannibal, up to four star potential, slight interest in joining. He's quite expensive though for you know his quality. So look at him. Yeah, I don't think he'd ever be good enough to be a first team regular for us, but he's he's a decent young player coming through there. And Garnacho. Again, pretty he's actually extremely interested in joining. Again, very expensive though. He's very young. I mean, I might, uh, I'll, I'll shortlist him. We'll just you know, keep half an eye on his development. Starting to get everyone back now. Um, yeah, we'll go to our other tactic, I think, the more balanced one. We'll go with that to start with. <clears throat> so I'm going to play as strong a squad as we can. So we've got Allison. I guess the call is Scally versus Gomez. It's probably Gomez. All right, we'll go with Gomez. He's not really a complete wing back, though. Is the thing? We'll put a support full back. 
Right side defender, we'll probably go with Van Dyke and Bastoni in the middle. And Canate back. Quite a while. Okay. Uh, left back is going to be Robertson. Go with uh, Fabinho. I might go Zobozlai with this one. But we'll go with Camavinga. Then it's pretty easy up front. Salah, Diaz, Nunez. We'll have Oh, I picked Kelleher. Still a bit injured. I mean, we unless things go very wrong, we shouldn't have to play our second string keeper. So we'll have uh, Scalvini, Simicas, Scali, Tiago. Actually, there's quite a big bench, isn't there? So we'll just grab everyone who can walk, basically. So I've got one spot left. I guess we'll put Milner there. Oh, still got two more. All right, um, I guess we'll take Leonardo and Curtis Jones, even though they're one of them is injured. I am going to do the uh, position instructions though, so we'll tightly mark their forward. Pretty much everyone from the midfield Forward will trigger press. Put away the display, make me proud. Quite a few positive motivations there. Obviously. Kamavinga's there. Ooh, yeah, I was about to say that looks like it's going in, and it is. First of the season, first for Liverpool. I'm amazed this uh, Real were willing to sell him. They didn't have to push them too hard. I mean, they paid a lot of money, but I don't think in real life there's literally any way they'd be open to selling him. So that's good for us. I think it's similar to Bosley and um, Red Bull Leipzig. They um, was one of their most talented players, and I think if anyone was to buy him, it would, you'd be looking at minimum 80 million quid. I think whereas we got him for considerably less. Getting a lot of chances. We're not seeing a lot of highlights though, which tells me they're probably quite low percentage chances. They're actually dominating. I guess uh, keep it going, boys. They're going to score from their first shot on target, probably. I didn't like that little judder. That told me something big's about to happen. Oh, I'm not. with them. Oh, what's that? I gotta tell you, when you see that little judder in the footage, off, more often than not, it's the computer going, aha, we're about to screw you over. This will be given. Might have been outside the box. I guess that's our main hope. No penalty. Outside the box. There we go. I bet it was close, though. We didn't even see it. <laughs> it must have been a very bad free kick. Okay. I'll take back what I said. Um, 60 minutes. Yeah, Robertson's... Everyone's heavy match load. They're just uh, a little bit knackered. Put some value on for Diaz. Gonna put uh, Jota in for Nunez. Gonna put... Elliot in for 
Robertson for slow. We're going to put some in for Robertson before I forget. Who else do I want to change? Maybe Kamavinga as he's yellow carded. So we'll just bring Henderson on just to you know, help calm things down really. I don't really want to praise them. I find that if it's just a one goal lead, some of them can react some of them can react quite badly to being praised. If it goes two or three now, I tend to praise at that point. So in terms of the shouts, it's hard really to know what to do at this sort of stage, because more, more than likely we'll just upset them with whatever we say. So we'll just let it play out. So there's looking rather tired. I'm going to go into the tactics and I'm going to start a little bit of time wasting, I think. It's only 1 0, so at this point, anything can happen, really. Oh, that was good. Good to Salah, can he score? Oh ho, off the base the post. Yeah, just sort of time waste to sweet up at the seconds. I'll take that 1 0 win, I think, rather than anything else. Now there's time wasting and there's time wasting. Wait. Dog off for barking, and meanwhile Salah's scoring the, <laughs> the second. So we'll praise them now. He likes to sit at my window and watch the world go by. And at the moment, the neighbour was uh, taking a rubbish bag out. And he, uh, just alerting me to the fact. I think it's a Daxon, a very good uh, watchdogs because they bark at everything. <laughs> if anyone walks past your house, you're very aware of it. Well, look at that XG, that's pretty good. We had 29 goal attempts in the end, 13 on target. So yeah, I mean, for what I was pretty sure was our most difficult match of the group, that was pretty well negotiated. There we go. Two games, two wins. We scored in 10 consecutive competitive matches, apparently. Two and a half million coming in, not bad. Do we, yeah, okay, we'll praise Salah. He did well. Okay. Chelsea away. So this is going to be pretty tough. I'd probably, probably take a draw at this stage, I'd say, going into Chelsea away. It's like a bit of a break after that. It must be... Um, I don't know. I don't think it's internationals because we haven't had any call-ups. Probably just a week's break between Chelsea and the next game then. Here we go. Salah's been called up, so we might get some call-ups now. Yeah, I think it's an, I think it's an international break then coming up. Here we go. I'm sure others are going to follow. It feels slower than FM22 on my machine, if I'm honest. So you just spend a bit more time. I know I probably I put I put a lot of leagues in at the beginning, and it did say it was going. To, I think it was two star out of five for speed, but it does feel. I mean, I always do that. You know, there's nothing different to what I usually do. Um, but yeah, it just feels a little bit. Takes, it feels like it takes a little bit more time to think about things. I 
and then you know it'll take 10 minutes thinking about the next move and then it'll go back to you and there'll be there'll be no emails and <laughs> nothing will have happened and you'll be like what were you thinking about for all that time like this you know nothing's happened we're still just sat here I expect it probably is international call-ups. Just chuntering away thinking about. I'm going to go back to browse and I'm going to um, I'll just take a look at our squad and the players while it's doing this. Sometimes I wonder if it's just frozen. There we go. So this is probably browse. So I won't click continue until I've had a little look at some players. So we've got Kelvin Rams. I'm a little disappointed with his potential ability, to be honest. Because in, in real life he's he's very highly thought of. He's just he's just a bit a bit meh here. Um Probably should play Tiago more. It's his lack of speed if, as much as anything else, but he is a good player. Still waiting for Kanate. Trent. Keller has actually back fit now. So I think what I'll do is I'll bump uh, Adrian back down to the 21s permanently. Jones is uh, still a few weeks away. Hey, how are we doing? Finally moved on to the next day. Team selection advice. What were you thinking about all that time? And it's just a couple of standard emails. Saying it's going to be a close contest, which I would expect, but we'll see. Good by Armour and Allison. Say, really well done. You're a very good keeper. It's a toss-up, really, whether him or Edison are the best keepers in the game, in my opinion. But obviously, he's at Liverpool, so I prefer Allison. Okay, board expectations. I seem to only do this for uh, the big games, and both board and supporters are expecting a draw. So I think we have to go in. See, supporters hoping to see him return from injury. Well, I, he will return, but he'll be sat on the bench. I'm not going to play him. Unless something dreadful happens. Here we go. So we've got some callers. I like to... Anyone who's on a friendly who's a reasonably regular player, like, say, Elliot, we'll put 45 minutes a game. Gordon, is he... He was injured, wasn't he? Is he back now? Again, disappointed with those stats. He's uh, very, very promising in real life. Nunez, 45. Ramsey, that's fine. Scalvini, I'll say 45. I'm going to keep the same tactics, I think, the more uh, balanced one. No, Trent, so uh, Gomez is... He's tired, so I think I'm going to go with Scally. Let's check the role suits him. I think it does. Be nice to play Kanate at some point, you know. I think, I th I think I'm going to go with Scalvini actually. Scalvini Van Dyke might regret that, but we'll see. 
We've got a bit of a break after, so I'm not that worried about people with heavy load because I think they'll they'll get a bit of time off. I might go with Henderson. He's got light match load, so that's not too bad. Uh, I could go with like a Tiago and Camavinga maybe see how that feels um, yeah, I think we go with Salah Diaz and Nunez again Kelleher, Bastoni Gomez Smekas Binus, Bosley, three attackers. I'll go Elliot. Oh, Carvalho is very heavy match load. So I do. Mm, not really, but Milner and Jota. Okay. Right, we're definitely going to do the uh, opposition stuff. Look at Sterling up front's an interesting choice. Uh, going through their wing backs and their trigger press. And weaker foot. So they got so they got like a very high triangle of Havertz, Mount, and Sterling, and then they're quite defensive otherwise. It's going to be a tight game, I think. Let's try and boost everyone up. Not bad. Uh, yeah, I tend to not really enjoy these tight games against rivals in football manager. I don't know why. It's um, I suppose it's a bit it's a bit tense, isn't it? Unlike watching it as a supporter, you, you know you actually have some element of control over what happens and that almost makes it worse <laughs> I'm certainly more culpable hasn't shown any goal chances yet but there's been there's been attempts oh. decent on Robertson until it wasn't don't shoot I mean, we're having the lion's share of the chances, so from that point of view, it's all right. Uh, happy keep it up? Okay. I like to try and motivate them as much as I can at half-time. No zero shots on target yet. That one's there. Just a little there. I wonder if there might be a penalty shot. Actually had a one on target now. Okay, we're going to make some changes, I think. I've uh, got a few players who are looking a bit tired. I have Jotter in for Nunez. Uh, Salah should probably come off. We'll stick Elliot on. Uh, anyone else who could kind of make a difference? Zabozlai, maybe. We'll stick him on instead of Thiago. He's good from set plays. Uh, I might bring Fabinho on for Henderson. Just a bit more defensive solidity. And I'll keep the other slot spare for now. And shout some encouragement. Just gonna let this play out first. Shot is there. Decent header. Oh, do some encouragement there. Sometimes you click encourage and then you go and score a goal, and your team's like, "Why are you encouraging me?" And it immediately gets upset because it takes a little while for the shout to to happen. If there's stuff happening on the pitch.
Oh, that's not bad for Jota. Is it Thiago Silva missed the header? Oh, it's a decent attempt, but it's uh, Mendy's goal. I'm saying Robertson should probably come off, so we can do that. Bad for Swellsley there. Oh, he's round. <laughs> I hope that was on side. That was wonderful. Let's watch that again. So the assist was Diaz, so he sees the run. I don't know what Swellsley was doing so far up the pitch, but you know, I'll take it. Very, very good. And I'm not, the temptation is to, to close up shop here, or try to. Um, but I'm not going to do that, because we're doing really well. And sometimes if you take your foot off the gas, the other team will just you know, come at you. Um, I might up the uh, time-wasting now, though, as we're in the last five minutes. But that's my guess is going to hit it. Yep. <laughs> Just pass it around the back. Don't take any risks. Three and a half minutes. Oh, Virgil, what are you doing, man? Diaz has played well. He's a very good player. Doesn't score as much as he probably should, but he is a very good player. A terrible defender. Terrible defender. Oh ah, well. I'll take a draw. I said it before the match, didn't I? I'd take a draw. And it's a draw, so I guess I'll take it. Feels a bit disappointing in those circumstances, though. We were the better team. We were ahead until the last final three minutes or whatever it was. So, really, we should have won that. So, I mean, if Man U win their game in hand, they could go above us suddenly. Hmm. Look at that. Yeah, should have done better. So now, I mean, everyone's going to go off on... Uh, I might wait till everyone's flown off and uh, on St... Uh, international duty and then we'll adjust the training perhaps Got 22 players away so I imagine most of our first team squad except probably for Milner Carvalho the rest will probably be gone so did I don't think Man United have played yet Villa up to third there it's a bit of a surprise who's Walt Schmidt no idea who this guy is. Did they just sign him. I think they did. <laughs> Never heard of him. I just feel like no one, you know, maybe we could beat City at home, but apart from that, I don't really see who else is beating them. But if we do do that, and we were able to match their results otherwise, yeah, we draw level with them. I think their goal difference is going to be insane, though, with uh, Haaland scoring all the goals he is. All right, here's Manu going. Scali called up. Is he... Where's he? Uh, 
Yeah. Seeing as it's a friendly. So Mudrick. Ooh, he's expensive. Don't think he's that good. Yeah. Oh, and this is uh, Kvratskelia. Is that how you say it? Who's just really, really good. No interest in joining. So I think he's only just joined Parthenope or Napoli, as they would be in uh, real life. I mean, he's got to go on the shortlist, doesn't he? Okay, man, you did win, so they've overtaken us now. They're a point ahead. Same goal difference, but our goal difference is half what Cities is. Crazy, crazy. Uh, okay, so who can play in the 21s? Who's not on? Who's not been called up? Uh, Kelleher, I think, is just going to be our... Our 21's keeper. Uh, Curtis Jones, it's a bit soon for him still. He's still three weeks away. Oh. Jota could do with a bit of action um, for the next match, say 60 minutes. Ramsey will give you 90 minutes. Oh. I think everyone else could probably just do with a break. Kumas, eligible, I think so. I think he's a good, promising young player. I don't want to loan him out this season, though, so we're going to remove that. Fine with me. It's not it's not big money particularly, is it? Isaac. Close to full potential. Sign him as a priority. Eh, I don't know about that. We've got Nunes, who is certainly as good, in my opinion. I want to keep him here. I want to. I want his headers to be more accurate. I don't. Yeah, I don't want him to run down the right. He's a. He's a central striker who can also play on the left. So, why would he run down the right? You know. All right, that's fine for Ramsey. Gomez should be in the midfielders. Apparently, I don't think so. Elliot attackers. Don't think so. No. Silly ideas. Doing reasonably well in the cup. Quite a heavy win against uh, Rochdale there. Marcos Leonardo's got four goals. Yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on him, aren't we? All right, so what's our squad look like with all these uh, international absences? Yeah, most people are gone. Let's look at the uh, rest screen and just see what they what he recommends. I set them all to the recommended. Another win for the under eighteens. Jerry's been called up to actually under 21s. I think that's probably all right. It's actually third choice for us. He wants me to drop down Skelly and Ramsey. Whoever Terence Miles is wants to come up to the 21s. Mm. 
Yeah, he can stay where he is. I don't want to know. Yes, I'm sure Mo Salah scoring for Egypt is really good. Bring in Jeff Capes. Now oh, we've got Spurs at home coming up. When we get to about here, I'll, I'll have a look at the training screen again. Don't have enough coaches for the under-18s. What's Matt Allen like? He's pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's bring him in. Another under-18s performance analyst. Yeah, he's alright, actually, for the under-18s. All right, Jay Spearing can have a coaching badge. And then anything that says improved quality? No, I don't think so. Well, we'll take a quick look in case they are actually really good. We want a recruitment analyst. He actually is quite good. He's not very good. He's not very good. Tell you what, this Woody Doer. Let's uh, let's bring him in, and then we can. Um, we'll see who we can let go to replace him with. Or to have him replace. God, Modric just sort of continuing to defy age, isn't he? Cohen Doherty, that's all right. Jason Kumas, not Jason Kumas, he's his dad. Signed on, that's good. He's off in his course. How do people do? Not particularly well. Let's um, have a look at the training screen now. So we've got a few more back. Uh, set everyone to the physio's recommendation. Trent's back, that's good. Alan, the fitness coach, yeah, we'll take him. Dewar is staying at Watford, so fine, whatevs. Jack Rogers, is he one of the ones I signed? I can't even remember. Let's have a look at the training rest again. Do you know that Trent is back and looking reasonably healthy? Let's bump um, Calvin Ramsey back down to the 21s. Another win for the under-21s. Leonardo scoring again. Pretty good. So what was this? What were we scouting? Goalkeepers? Lafont's alright. It's not as good as Alisson. Claudio Bravo must be about a million years old by now. And look at the training. What's everybody on? Fairly high potential. Where's he from? Sporting. Inverted right sided winger. I mean, he's. I mean, he's alright for 18. I can shortlist. Car Barsland. Not too much potential. Edson Alvarez. No, thank you. Ooh. Oh, it's a Jao Pedro again. 
this five star potential that he apparently has that just never seems to manifest itself in any game of FM that I've ever played. But Yasser Espria at um, Watford, I wonder if that's any relation to Faustino Espria. He's uh, another inverted right winger who actually, for an 18 year old, is looking not too bad. Fairly susceptible to injury is the thing. So let's shortlist him so we can just keep an eye on where he goes. Matteo Politano, 29 though. Eddie Nketiah, he's actually getting games for Arsenal, but I think probably he's not that good. In this game anyway. Carvalho is out for a few days, that's all right. Let's go to the rest screen. Let's make sure everyone's sort of doing roughly what they're supposed to be doing. Really, Stephen Gerrard's pointed out that Harry Kane might be a bit good. Next week he's going to announce that water is wet. Oh, Bastoni's out for a month. Great. I don't think we've got... Um, Canate back, yeah, he's still out for a few days, so getting a bit threadbare at the back. Oh, good training by Nunez. Let me put an arm around him, keep it up. Money, we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. Our best performing, best performing defender is Robertson. West Ham are the best defence in the league, apparently. Fabinho's dictates tempo now, which is pretty good for him, I think. Sobozlai's a uh, young player of the month. Guardiola's manager of the month, obviously. He's, he only won 66%, but... Who did he draw with? It was us, probably, wasn't it? No, man, you. Okay. Do you want to play or do you want to look up? I, I kind of forgot to look him up already. Yus, um, Demir. Yusuf Demir is a player who often is one of the first ones I buy in FM because his potential is just so good. Um, so I'm just going to scout him. So I think we'll play Spurs and then that'll that'll be four fixtures in this episode. So I think we'll, I think we'll leave it at that. Uh, monthly board review, certainly C, C+. Plus. They're quite pleased with our backing from the players. Supporters are reasonably happy with the results, it looks like. Still griping about Matip and Firmino going. But Roberto Firmino in real life has recently signed or been rumoured to have recently signed a new contract with Liverpool. I think in real life he's a lot better than he is in FM because he isn't the best finisher um, but he brings lots of other qualities to a game that I think is, is quite hard to simulate in something like this for another four goals for Haaland there um, so although I do like him as a player in real life I do tend to sell him in FM when I take charge of Liverpool just um, hard to find a role that he does well oh, Trent's back in so let's go back to our complete fullback I mean, I guess we're having to go Gomez Van Dijk in defence. Oh, see, everyone's still heavy. I guess they had internationals, didn't they? Fabinho's light, though. He, I think he went with Brazil. Um, Elliot's good to go. Gonna get Camavinga, I think. Then we'll go Salah, Diaz, who's pretty good, and Nunez, who's not too bad. Go Kelleher. Oh, actually, I might go Scalvini instead of Gomez. I'll have Gomez on the bench because he can cover a couple of roles. Simicas, uh, Henderson, Zobozlai, Tiago, Jota, two more. 
Leonardo and Milner, maybe. Right, Harry Kane obviously going to mark tightly. Include their wing backs now pressing. Oops, no, cancel, cancel. Giving a lot of credit, go out and do good stuff. Do good things that are good. Let's go. They're a funny team, Spurs. I mean, they, they could equally destroy us or do badly. <laughs> it's hard to really know. Mm, yeah, I'm glad that took a, the deflection just took all the pace out of that, which I was quite glad about. Darwin, oh, that's quite heavy on him. Oh, oh. <laughs> Argy bargy. Longley, I think, is a bit of a rubbish defender. Going for it. No. Well, it's rushing on a more conservative lineup. I might just switch that. It's going to be a bit more welly. Courage as well. Robertson again. In real life, he's got a buttload of stamina, but in this, he seems to be the first player to get properly tired. I think he's got heavy match load. I don't know how much of a difference that plays. Probably quite a lot. Oh, Darwin's there, and it's a goal. Oh, it's going to be checked. He looked on the side. I wonder if it's something else. Oh, it's potential offside. I thought he was on. Yes! Good stuff. I thought he was on. I mean, he's like a million yards on side, isn't he? So, well, I was worried that maybe it was a handball or something by him. That's the way it kind of came off him. But it was good. Keep it up, boys. I'll keep it with the positive mentality for now. I'll try and take the game to them a little bit. If it gets late on and we're still defending a one-goal lead, we'll lock it down a bit, maybe. Galvini's there. Oh, well, I saw the net move and I thought it was him. Looked like quite a good header just over. Had a poor control by Robertson, but it didn't matter. Oh, that was good by Diaz. Nicked it. Oh! <laughs> now that is what you call impudent. Impudent finish. Okay, this was this was a world-class move. Thanks. Gets it off Royal. And it just nutmegs the keeper off the inside of the uh, post. 
I'd be pretty happy with that. Not such. reaching that first. Oh, but he's won it off Longley. Into the box, it's kind of surrounded, not taken down. It's not a penalty because it was outside the area, but I would think that's a free kick. I guess maybe they're checking a booking, perhaps? I think they're checking the penalty. There's no way it's a penalty, though. Yeah, it's a free kick. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have to change Robertson out because he's starting to flag. Mm. He's only an hour off and he's reward him for his recent good, good work. I'm going to take Sobosley on. Henderson on for Fabinho, who's booked. Jotter on for, say, Salah. He's away with international duty. I don't know who Orsic is. Mesla Orsic. He's quick. God, he's rapid, isn't he? Left and side forward. Are they signed him in real life? Because he seems like quite a good player. <laughs> Again, so into Leonardo, who was there, got a, got a shot away. We praise the team now at this point. Got a bit of motivation for the last five few minutes. There, pretty comfortable game, all things considered. Yep, good stuff, lads. So there we are, we're second in the table, goal difference 10 fewer than Man City, but five points behind them now, so they just keep steamrolling everyone. So Man City, uh, Man U drew, didn't they? Yeah. Diaz on form, I think we've got to praise him for that goal, haven't we? Superb. Well done. So let's just uh, clear our team selection there and say we're going to leave it there for now so when we come back we'll, we'll head into the Champions League again playing Ajax at home hoping for another win there but thanks for watching I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little play of FM23 still enjoyable to play we're doing pretty well we're doing better in this game than Liverpool are in real life although they have picked up in recent times uh, if you did enjoy it, then please do hit the like button on the video subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already uh, that'd be amazing Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this campaign. And I'll hope to see you next time for more FM23. Bye for now.